Hi boys and girls! Today we are going to be painting a very special flower and it is the, the, the official flower of the Western Cape, South Africa, the geyser. And it's the, we are going to be looking especially at the red geyser. It's very rare, it's only found in very specific areas in the Table Mountain National Park. And so we, because we are learning to draw our flowers, I thought we must have one flower that is close to home. And so the geyser is perfect. The geyser is a type of orchid, which makes it particularly special. Orchids have traditionally been gifted because they are so rare and special and unique. And so with Mother's Day coming, um, an orchid is perfect for us to learn to draw as well. All right, to start off, we're gonna start in the middle of the middle. And we're gonna start by drawing a little upside down triangle that's got rounded corners little circle so kind of like a cat's nose I am drawing in pen so we can see clearly on the video but you can draw in your pencil that you can easily erase any mistakes I am however going to switch momentarily to pencil because I want to draw in some guidelines that are going to help me to draw out the shape of my flower a geyser has got three parts that make a, a triangle shape so I'm going to draw in you draw very lightly because we're going to rub out these three straight lines. But um, so draw nice and light. I'm going to be drawing hard and dark so that you can see on the video. And from the middle of this upside down triangle shape, I'm going to draw a straight line. And I'm going to measure, use my finger spacing and see how big that is. And if I put it out this side and put a dot, and measure again to get it right again. And this side. And I draw two more straight lines joining to the other sides of that kitten's nose. All right, these are gonna be my guidelines for my petals. I'm gonna switch back to my pen now so that you can continue to see nicely. And if you want to work in a pen, you can also. And you use whatever you're comfortable with. Right, we're going to do this big part of the flower first, and I'm going to come out the side nice and boldly. And I like to put a little curl at the top of the petal. And then the other side, I want to make it the same width, so I'm going to come out all the way out here as well, the same on the side, and join up to that little curl there. Right, let's do the bottom of these ones at the bottom and come out and in and I like to put another little curl at the end let me do this side out and in and then I'm going to pretend this part is coming underneath this petal here it's going to come down and join up and this side is going to come from the under, down, and join up. Right, there's our basic shape for our geyser. Now I'm going to take my eraser and you do the same. And I want you to erase now these three straight lines that you do for guidelines for your flowers. Right, we've got those out of the way. Let's continue on with some of the easy details and then we'll get to the nice delicate details after. The dyes has got a little lip here, which is sort of like a little spike underneath. And then we have the stem. So it comes down from underneath there. And it has sort of another sheath. line here and this part here is actually brown it's sort of where it comes out out of the green stem right we're gonna pay very close attention now because the center of the geyser here has got some very beautiful details interestingly these are not petals they are sepals the sepal is the the little green leaf that you would find um, say for underneath a rose 
there's little green um, spikes that are coming out from right underneath where the petals start and they are what cover the bud while it's growing and then they open and the bloom comes out and that's so these are very specialized sickles right I want you to leave a little space and um, I'm going to leave about a finger space and I want to do a small little curve line and I'm going to make a circle on the side and a circle on the side then I'm going to make another curve line that follows that first one and I want to follow this shape around and this side around and underneath here he is this little rectangular shape from up here I want two long spikes right next to each other then we're going to do from the middle of this these circle shapes here we're going to come up and around and in with a little curl and up and around and in and these are actually the petals so that's the actual the four petal part this top sepal actually curls in on itself around itself so we're going to do the side petals curling in one side and the other side and so it's curling around this delicate middle part almost forgot that Right, and finally, we're going to come from down here and we're going to go up and we're going to join onto the side of that um, petal. There we go. All right, beautiful little details. Okay, and there's our dizer is drawn. This dizer is actually called a uniflora dizer. Uni means one, floor, flower. And that's because normally this only these plants only have one flower so it's quite really sometimes they might have two but normally just one 